going on guys so in this video i have two systems i diagnosed both of them have shorted compressors uh one of them i did the other day the other one i did a couple weeks ago um figured i'd put them both together here for you guys so you can see um kind of how i deal with a, a shorted compressor so take a look Don't forget. We got a unit here that's not cooling. The call originally came in as they thought their thermostat needed to be over, overrided because they didn't think they were getting it on. But it appears the thermostat is on, but the system's just not cooling. Got to figure out how to get up on the roof here, but I just wanted to check the furnace first to make sure I do have a call blowers are running there is a call going upstairs um i think there's a some sort of roof access here so we're going to go around there and see what's going on this is the, the thermostat that's downstairs also this is the upstairs one but you can see it's like really weird there's you know nothing that really tells you if it's going into cooling but these lights here if this is lit up and this is lit up, it, the air conditioning should be running. So that's fan and then uh, air conditioning. And both those lights were lit up down there. So we got an issue up on the roof. All right, up on the roof here, got two units. It's, I hear buzzing out of this one. I don't hear any buzzing from this one, so thinking it's this guy over here let's get the cover yep, pulled it off. is this one so i have no high voltage power here see between here and here i have nothing but uh, my contactor is pulled in you can't tell it from here but i tested it it's pulled in so let's see what's up with this disconnect let's turn it off open it up okay we do have two fuses here so let's See. Let's see if we have power here. Okay, we have no incoming power. Let's just test these fuses. I wonder if somebody just turned a breaker off. I think if it was shorted to ground, it would have blew these fuses. Let's tone them out. Okay, this fuse is blown. This, this one is not. But, oh, there we go. This, they're both good. All right, so we're looking for a breaker. I am going to keep this disconnect off. And we're going to just real quick, just test for shorts to ground before we go find in a breaker. Okay, we're just going to grab a good ground here. There. Yep. Shorted on two of the three terminals. This unit's actually a Guardian, but it's made by York. It's very similar to a York just like one 2014 mm. Eight pounds of refrigerant Ooh, it's r22 uh oh well i don't think i'm gonna be putting a compressor in an r22 system even though it's only 10 years old uh, this must have been a dry unit you could not get these units filled with r22 and 14 before operating this unit vent the nitrogen and evacuate the entire system below yeah so this came charged with nitrogen as a dry r22 unit 
so they have an R22 coil downstairs also. As far as I know, the furnace is okay. We'll double check that, but um, they're probably looking at system replacement here. Here's the one here. I got the disconnect off up on the roof, so this should reset. All right. So here is our unit again. Five ton coil. We'll give them options to replace the furnace too, but if this is like a state job here, so who the hell knows what they're gonna do. Here is the second one. Uh, it's at the chicken plant that we do a lot of work at. Um, another shorted compressor. Take right. We got a air handler here. I'm thinking units up on the roof, but I popped the thermostat's lit up totally because of bad news. I popped the thermostat off. I have no holes between R and common. So we'll go up on the roof and see, for one, locate the unit, and for two, see what the hell's going on. So it looks like it might be seven and a half tons. Oh, See, this is the 90 tonner we serviced a few months ago, weeks ago. These filters are already in need of changing. They're actually sucking themselves in. We'll mention that to them. They're supposed to change them themselves. But I think our unit's over here. Right there. I love a chicken plant, all these seagulls. And these are massive seagulls. Look how massive those seagulls are compared to the regular seagulls. All right, this is us. Fairly confident. Right, so whenever you have a big commercial unit like this, uh, yeah, 90, or uh, um, seven and a half tons, 090. Whenever you have a commercial unit like this, your transformer's typically in the outdoor unit. And you can see here, we don't have a whole lot going on as far as electrical goes, at least over here. And here still, a couple pressure switches, not a whole lot going on. So all we have is a contactor, a relay, and a transformer. So first thing we'll do is look and see if we have high voltage power, and then see if we have low voltage power. All right, so here is our load side over here. So let's just test the top of the contactor real quick which is where our voltage comes in. Okay, we have no voltage there, no voltage between there. Let's just test down here, nothing there. Okay, so let's go from each one to ground. So we'll go from here. I can't really do it on camera. Let's see if I can set this up. Nothing to ground, nothing to ground, nothing to ground. So either we have uh, three blown fuses or a trip breaker. Let's turn that guy off. Chances are we're finding a breaker. Now, this is an electrical room that this services. So, we're gonna test for shorts first though. All right guys, I think we have something shorted to ground here. If we go from here to ground, see I, un I unplugged my compressor. I was getting a short to ground at first. So I'm going off a of copper to ground. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm toning there, toning there, and toning there. This compressor is shorted to ground. That sucks. I still would like to find the breaker because it clearly tripped the breaker and I just briefly went down to look to see if I could find it nothing doing couldn't find it right away so um i am going to keep looking this little note here will tell me dhu-2 doubt it but maybe uh, I've, I've traced it down to here it's right here this is up this is my line coming in and it 90s this way it hooks to those wire nuts and then i lose it so I don't know where it goes from here. I think it's this guy here where it says receiving HVAC. I just can't be sure. It's off. And 
panel is cracked. And also it says not in use, so I think I'm gonna pull this guy off here and see if I can see where it goes down. So I don't wanna do a whole lot of opening up this because this is this is very high, very live voltage here. So I don't wanna do a whole lot here. Uh, I did find the breaker. Um, I reset it just to see what the hell would happen. It tripped right away. So um, looks like this compressor might have been replaced once before. You see that right there? That lines up right with the terminals of the compressor. I bet you this thing's blew up in before. So uh, we're just gonna record the model and serial number. Um, see if maybe this has an extended warranty on the compressor. I doubt it though. And um, we'll have to replace the compressor. It is what it is, guys. Keep it moving.